Hello Cancer, my name is Jordan. I am the owner of Lead by Light. I will be doing your tarot reading for April 1st to the 7th of 2020 today. I am a psychic empath, so I do tarot readings for people all over the world, as well as a Reiki master, so I also do Reiki healings. If you'd like to book either or, you can do so through my site down below. I'll also link all of my information, including my website and all my social platforms in the description box. So please like, share, subscribe, help this channel grow, and let's get right into it. So Cancer, I'm going to start off with some Oracle cards, Spirit Animal Oracle, then I'll do your spread, and then I'll do some clarifiers. Spirits, angels, and guides, you know, you can see from the cancers first to the seventh. I'll show you what I need to see for the cancer for April first. Show me what I need to see for cancer for April first. Cancer, please, Spirit. Holy, too many. One at a time, please, Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Cancer for April 3rd. Thank you. One more, please. Spirit, one more. Thank you. Okay. Have both of them in reverse. Okay, so you got rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time, and fox spirit, think on your feet. I think a lot of you might be sitting in a lot of confusion with what's going on in the world, obviously, but on a personal level, I feel as if some of you have endeavors of mind that you think are being halted or stopped by what's going on currently. Um, now's a lucky time. You need to take action. You need to think on your feet, okay? Uh, I think some of you are kind of jumping all around to different ideas. You might not know what to take action on. Trust your instincts, okay? Trust your intuition, follow it, and it will guide you correctly. Let's get into your spread. Let's get into your spread. Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, show me what I need to see for my cancer. For, oh, okay. We got stuff there. For April. First to seven. 2020. Show me what I need to see for Cancer for April 1st, 7th, 2020. Feels a little bit stubborn. I just feel stubborn energy with you guys, honestly. Not saying you're stubborn, but I feel like resistance, you know. Show me what I need to see for my cancers for April 2020 spirit. Current energy, crossing, recent past, immediate future, it's above, below, current, exterior, hopes and fears, final outcome. Overall energy. Yep, coming out of the cold. Think on your feet. Now's a lucky time. Get out of this energy. Coming out of the cold. Coming out of isolation. Introspection. Um, not introspection. Why did I say that? Well, you could be. Could have been a psychic split. Okay, so your current. Let's start with your past. In the recent past, you have the Fool card. A new beginning. You took a risk with something. Currently, you got that new beginning. Immediate future. You're juggling. You got a lot on your plate. Okay, what's crossing it? The situation, your stability, the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of abundance. The focus of the reading is this love, a lot of love you got for something or someone. Uh, what's known is a new beginning in reverse, stability in reverse. Your current energy is the Knight of Wands. You're passionate about it and you're going toward it. Exterior energy, Six of Pentacles, some energy around you might have a sense of imbalance. Your hopes and fears, hermit, coming out of isolation, coming out of healing, potential outcome, a lot of communication, a lot of messages, a lot of action, okay? Eight of wands. 
A lot of action. It's like the messenger card. Whew, okay. This feels like a heavy one. Let's check it out. Let's shuffle this bad boy. Broke the deck. We got Justice and the King of uh, Coins. So some balance coming in for you and abundance, which makes sense because you got the Ten of Pentacles here. Sorry, guys. This deck is like really hard to shuffle. It's really big. Let's start with the recent past. Let's start. Let's start with the fool. Okay. Something about the fool spirit from my cancers. But April 1st to the 7th, 2020. Something about the fool for my cancers, please, spirit. Something about the fool. My cancers. Okay. So all in reverse. Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So you can actually see. See what I'm talking about? Maybe if I hold it like this, it'll be a little easier. Okay. Got the Knight of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. So you had a new beginning that you took a risk on that you wanted to charge toward. Okay, these were all in the reverse, mind you. All in the reverse. Okay. So something wasn't emotionally fulfilling anymore and you want to charge towards something that was more passionate. Um, you didn't want to put work into whatever you had done before this new beginning. You were over it. You're like, it's time for something new. I need something new. This is not emotionally fulfilling. It doesn't make me want to charge toward it with passion. It doesn't bring me balance. I'm not going to hold on to it anymore. I'm letting it go because I want this new beginning. Tell me about the new beginning now. Tell me about the Ace of Swords that we got in your current situation. What, what are you doing over there, Cancer? What's this new beginning you got? Ooh, you are manifesting the hell out of this new beginning. You got all the power right now. You got everything you need for this. No wonder you got the Ten of Pentacles crossing it. Tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords for my Cancers. Yep, Page of Wands, going after what you're passionate about. Let's check out this Ten of Pentacles. It's a student, you're learning something new. It could be creative, uh, art-related. Uh, wands are a lot about passion, travel, communication, action. Queen of Cups, what's crossing it? You got this Ten of Pentacles, you got all the stability coming in, but emotionally, you're very focused on your money and not so connected to your emotions right now, okay? What else we got on it? And the Sun in Reverse, yeah, you're really not focused on your emotions. This is um, a bit of unhappiness, a bit of not feeling satisfied. I feel like you're happy. I feel like you're content. I feel a lot of contentness, but I don't feel love. I don't feel abundance. And you got the King of Cups in the focus of the reading. So you're the Queen of Cups and you got the King of Cups in the focus. So let's learn about this King of Cups before we move too far to the immediate future yet. So King of Cups is in your focus of the reading. Let's learn about the King of Cups for my Cancer Spirit. Yeah, two of swords. At a, you're not at a crossroads with them. You're not stuck. You're not confused. What do we get? Yeah, long-term commitment, stability, two of cups in reverse. Okay. So there's an imbalance here with this connection. It does have the potential to be a long-term commitment, but there's an imbalance here. The two of you aren't on the same page, which makes sense because the king of cups is upright and the queen of cups is reversed. Okay. So just be mindful of that. There's an imbalance here. And I think it's because there's an emotional imbalance within you. And when you fix the emotional side, once you have all of your finances and your new projects, your new endeavors figured out, that's when you will find balance. Ooh, queen of wands, the other woman, 10 of wands. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I guess we'll talk about it. So there might be another energy involved with the queen of cups here. 
It could be a boss, it could be a mother, and they're very burdensome in regards to you trying to find your balance. Okay, I don't think it's a third party situation. I just don't feel that. Um, typically the queen of wands is the other woman, but I don't feel like you guys are talkative. Can I just like ask spirit my questions without you spitting cards out at me? Can y'all chill out a little bit? I appreciate it. Tell me about the two of pentacles, spirit. Tell me about the two of pentacles, please. There we go. Four swords. Yeah, you're coming out of healing. Four swords, healing. You had it in the reverse. You're coming out of it. Or you need to heal and stop overthinking. Stop juggling so much. Stop overwhelming yourself. Take the time to rest. Take the time to heal. Tell me about the two of pentacles. Yeah, because you're going through a rebirth. Hope and wish fulfillment. You're really not in your feelings right now. You are not emotionally connected. All these cups that you're getting are in reverse. Okay? Um, you need to get in touch with your emotional side for sure. You do. Because that's your hope and wish fulfillment. And this King of Cups, I'm pretty sure is your hope and wish fulfillment. But you're not investing anything emotionally into that person. And mind you, just because it's a king doesn't mean it's a male. These energies could be vice versa. And what do we get? What do we get on the table? The lovers. I'm going to tell you. Very strong connection. You need to emotionally invest yourself. Not like you need to, but like the time's going to come where you need to emotionally connect. And that's what spirit is saying right now. You want, you have your 10 of pentacles. You have your stability coming in. Now we got to figure out your 10 of cups, this happiness, the sun cards, the happiest card in the deck. You're content. You have all this love. You're not offering it to anybody. You're not even offering it to yourself. So do the emotional healing that you need to do because you have a very strong soulmate connection here. Tell me about the ace of pentacles and what's known. I just heard barrier. So this new project you're on, it could be the barrier. Yeah, it's what's bringing you balance. There's that six of pentacles we were talking about. It's your hopes and dreams. The star card, beautiful, but it causes some conflict because although you're getting what you wanted, it's also stopping you from going after the person you're passionate about. The five of wands, it's a lot of conflict. This is a lot of battle. This is, um, just heard argumentative. Um, let's get one more. Thank you. Yeah, they're, they don't like that you focus so much on work. That's probably where some of these fights come from. I feel some of you already know who this person is. Uh, you might not even verbally fight about it. You might just already know. Yeah, you'll have your 10 of cups. You'll move to a better place. This is you two moving into a better, you're moving away from what doesn't serve you, but it's two people, okay? You're moving away together to your 10 of cups, okay? Um, you're not connected though currently. You're not emotionally connected at all. You're very focused. You're moving away from your 10 of cups energetically, but you have the potential to manifest it um, because right now you're the freaking magician. You can manifest anything you want. Get more in touch with your emotions. It's a very strong connection. Yeah, because the opportunity is presenting yourself, but you don't see it. Tell me the Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Wands and your current energies. You're going after what you're really passionate about. I feel like it's it's work and you got this King of Cups who's, yeah, going after what you're passionate about. You had all these options and you picked one. This is clarity. Yeah, you're not defensive. You're not defensive at all. You just, you know what you want. You're going after it. You're not even apologetic for it. You're like, I'm just doing my thing, you know? Like, I'm not rejecting you, but I'm, I'm doing my thing right now. That's it, like I, just, I gotta focus on this. So it's not bad, you know, but try and get in touch with your emotional side as well. Cancer, you're very emotional, very emotional. You could be emotional as F right now, but the problem is you're not expressing it, you're burying it into your work, okay? Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Exterior energies, people around you, they're trying to find balance or planting seeds to grow and they're ending a very difficult cycle. So you might be dealing with someone, Cancer, who you have a very strong connection with, but you're both kind of in a very transformative state. Um, you just started a new cycle. They're ending an old cycle and you two are slowly going to come together. See, they're not holding hands yet, but they're almost there. Okay, that's the immediate future. You're almost there. Tell me about the hermit and hopes and fears for my cancer, please. Yeah, king of cups. You're hoping that your king of cups comes out of healing, comes out of this growing phase. Because remember, your king of cups is your person. And there he is again. Here he is in the focus. Here he is in the clarifiers. And your hopes and fears. You're hoping for your king of cups to come out of their healing mode. 
so you guys can grow together. You secretly do. You want to take the risk. You want to take it. You want the risky new beginning with them. You're scared for the new beginning though because you're so focused on your money. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. You're still going to be abundant. Like you're still going to have your money. It's just finding balance right now. Tell me about the Eight of Wands and the potential outcome for my Cancers. April 1st to the 7th. Temperance, being impatient, it's in balance. There's a lot of comp, yes, 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 freaking yes. Healing, bottom of the deck. Ending a freaking cycle and the potential outcome. Being a little impatient, a little imbalance here. You're ending this imbalance because you two are talking about it. You're having conversation, you're taking action, you're working through it together, okay? Finding balance. All right, let's ask about this Five of Pentacles for the overall energy of the week for my Cancers for April 1st to the 7th, please, Spirit. Yeah, self-reflection, healing. You both got to do it. You both got to do it. You got to look at yourself and your emotions, Cancer, what you're focusing them on in your person. King of Swords, you already know this. You already know you have healing to do. You already know you're in a new cycle. You know this needs your focus and you know your person is going through their own shit right now that they got to focus on too. You both are aware. You know what's going on. You just don't like it. You don't like it. There's love there. Yeah. You don't like it. I'm not going to take those because I wasn't asking anything. What do we got? What are you spitting out at me? So talkative. See, Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? And right before this, I saw the Nine of Pentacles. So you're going to have your Pentacles. You're going to have your Pentacles. You're going to have your money. You're going to have your stability. Okay? Cancer, this is what I have for you for April 1st to the 7th. I hope this helps. Um, do your thing. Let your person do their thing. You, you guys are fine. Stop bugging out. Stop freaking out. Um, you're both ending very difficult cycles right now. Okay? you will be fine. There will be stability. There was imbalance in the past. You both need to find balance in yourself so you can come back together as two balanced halves to make a balanced whole. Okay, that's when you get your new cycle, your 10 of cups, and the lovers. Beautiful. Awesome, Cancer. I will see you guys next week.